Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we are going to do a quick check-in just to see what's going on in the collective of Divine Soulmate Connections. Could also include Twin Flame Connections as well. So yeah, we're going to be looking at the Divine Masculine's energy as well as the Feminine's. And this is general, like always. So do keep that in mind. It's not going to resonate for everybody's situation, all right? And if you do want more specific information for your situation, you can always get a personal reading and all that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see. What is going on here? Let's get a couple of Oracle cards to start off the reading for the masculines. All right, we have Caring Connections. Let me just get a couple more. Oh, we actually got two here. So we have number 32, which is Wish, and then we have number four, which is Vigilance. Okay, so the masculines at the moment, they are very much connected to their feminine, all right? Feeling that this is a connection that they care a lot about. If they were in denial of this in the past, they're not at this present moment. Um, they're definitely, I'm even getting this, it's like this wish, like they're wishing or longing to be able to take care of you, wanting to just be able to actually embrace you and protect you in some way for, for some reason. <laughs> That's what's coming in, this like protective type of a feeling, right? Because we also have the vigilance card. So it's like they're very alert um, to me, this also resembles the Page of Swords in the traditional tarot. So it's like really keeping an eye on you, really being interested, wanting to know what is going on with you. But it's coming in also with a little bit of an insecurity, like wanting to protect you. All right, so we are going to get a couple for the feminines, and then we'll get into the tarot. So let's see what's going on with the feminines. All right, we have a storm warning, okay. We will find out hopefully why and what this is about, but it feels like you're going through a little bit of a turbulent time right now. Things are feeling a little bit <clears throat> shaky or there's this like um, anxiety that you may or may not be able to put your finger on. Like you don't really know where it's coming from. It's like this general anxiety. Hmm. Let's see what else for the feminines. All right, then we have number two, which is distractions. All right, so it could be that you're possibly trying to distract yourself because you're feeling this anxiety and you're just trying to kind of get away from it rather than like fully facing it head on, maybe for some of you. Um, definitely though, I feel like you are trying to stay busy or you're doing things. <clears throat> Some of you might even be um, having other options presenting themselves to you, whether they are romantic in nature or not. So, and, and it could, this could even be what is creating the anxiety. It could actually go kind of like both ways, like back and forth, like the one perpetuates the other. Like you have this anxiety and so you try to distract yourself or, you know, for, for those of you who might be um, open to other possibilities, then the fact that you're open to other possibilities and or these are presenting themselves to you, that creates anxiety because, well, then that would mean um, fully releasing the connection with your masculine. So, <clears throat> Which then, yeah, you would try to distract yourself even more from that and then it just, it, it's like a vicious cycle. So that could be the case for some of you, definitely not for all of you. For others of you, it could just be, you know, you trying to focus on other things and then at the same time just feeling this a little bit of a turbulent time period right now. Maybe you just have a lot on your plate and you're dealing with a lot of things, which could be creating this. So yeah, just take whatever resonates. So let's see, let's get into the tarot. <clears throat> So I want to start by getting a past energy for the masculines. Just one or two cards, please. 
All right, and we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, interesting, which is um, quite the opposite from what we're getting for the current energy right now from the Oracle cards, right? Because with the Page of Swords in reverse, I feel like this could have been the masculine having pulled away at some point or just showing that they're not very interested. Um, for some of them even just appearing very immature. Even, um, maybe even a sense of giving up or just not taking any action, not showing any effort when it comes to communication or to resolving a particular issue. Let's see for the feminines. <clears throat> and time is relevant, okay? So this could be recent past for some of you. This could be, you know, um, in the further away past for others of you. So just take what makes sense. Okay, so for the feminines, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. What happened here? <laughs> All right. This feels to me like the feminine, um, it's like you just kind of stopped putting in effort as well or stopped chasing the masculine. It's like the masculine pulled away in some way or cut off communication um, for others of you, right? Just stopped showing some kind of interest or stopped showing as much interest. And so you stopped, you stopped chasing. Right, let's see currently. Let's see their energy towards you currently. Just their general energy. Anything that wants to come through. Alright, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Wands, and I did get one more here, and it is the Nine of Cups. Okay. So the masculine currently, um, I feel like they're still not communicating much, or they don't seem to fully be moving forward here, all right, with that Eight of Wands being in reverse, and especially also with the Three of Pentacles being in reverse. It's like there's, it doesn't look like they're working with you or it doesn't feel that way. I'm getting that for a lot of them, um, this could be related to their ego, trying to, it's like they're trying to just deal with it in the most successful way possible. However, we do have that nine of cups, which again is going back to that wish card. I'm seeing this as them though having a different wish than what their behavior is actually um, representing. So we are gonna clarify some of these, but I will also get more, just to get more specific. Let me see for the comments. It's like they have this wish <clears throat> for you Right, wanting to protect you, but then not doing anything about it at the moment. Okay, so for the feminines, we have the Page of Wands, the Moon, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I can see the, you're, I feel like there's a little bit of confusion there's a little bit of confusion on the direction that you're taking, almost like you're doubting, you're doubting your own actions, you're doubting your own energy, and for some of you, you're even doubting your intentions, which is actually a very positive thing because that does show that you have a lot of insights, that you are questioning yourself, that you're not, you don't have your defenses up, you're like, you're open to exploring your own self and what your intentions are. Like for example, right, like you stop chasing. And so it could be that, for example, you're wondering, all right, did I stop chasing because I'm really, you know, releasing and detaching and working on myself? Or did I stop chasing because, um, you know, it could be like a means to an end. Like maybe I stopped chasing because deep down somewhere, I feel like me, by me stopping this chase, that the masculine will then ultimately begin to chase me or show 
more interest or communicate. So I feel like some of you are just asking yourself that that question and that's a very legitimate question to ask yourself but you know um, what I'm getting here is that it's okay if you don't get the answer. The mere fact that you're even wondering and asking yourself that it shows that you you are making progress. You are releasing your defenses. Allow it to be what it is. You know, just keep doing you. Um, it doesn't really matter at the moment where what your intentions were because it's it's I'm getting that it's serving you regardless. It's serving you. And it and the message here is to not let that create all of this anxiety. But the fact that you are asking, that's the only reason why it doesn't matter what the intention is because you're open to it being either or, which means no defense mechanism here. It's a releasing of the ego and also that's moving you ahead, even if you don't get a clear answer. And sometimes, you know, the answer can be very complicated. Like it's not just black and white. It can't just be, yes, this was your intention or, you know, that was your intention. Things can overlap and it can get quite complicated. So the fact though that you are open to the possibility of it being as a means to an end, then that's showing growth and self-awareness, which is actually the point here. So yeah, um, if that resonated with you, then, you know, good job. Um, but I can see why that would also create anxiety for you because you don't know how you're doing. You don't know if you are, you know, really on your path towards alignment with your own self and what's going on here. All right, so let's see. Let's get a few cards to see the masculine's headspace and emotional space for you. So we have the hanged man in reverse, the moon for them as well, and then the king of wands. All right. So for their headspace, um, they're they're not they're doubting themselves as well. They're doubting themselves a lot. They're doubting their own actions. They're doubting, you know, whether they can even um, approach you. I'm getting with that hanged man being in reverse, but actually they want to come out of this stagnation. They don't they they don't like this. Um, situation that you are both in. I'm getting for the most part that you're not in much communication for most of you. Some of you could be, all right? Um, you could be, but I feel like this is going to resonate more possibly for those of you where the communication seems to have seized either completely or partially. It's it because it feels like there's not as much interaction as before, all right? Especially having the page of swords in reverse. Um, for their recent past, yeah, and this Eight of Wands in reverse. So it could be that you're still in communication, but just feeling a little bit of some kind of a blockage in that interaction, all right? So the masculine is not liking this. They're wanting to come out of that stagnation, not wanting to be stuck and staying in the same position, you know, um, for much longer. But there's a lot of doubts as to how to actually get get out of that. Let's see emotionally. Alright, so we have the two of pentacles, the four of pentacles in reverse, and the four of swords. Okay, so they're really having a hard time releasing you. So if this is something that they've been trying to do, which I'm getting for some of them, maybe, maybe they were for some, I don't know what happened between the two of you, but I feel like for this group, um, it, it feels like you're just really trying to release each other possibly. But for different for different reasons and for the feminines, yes, that is usually something that is part of your lesson, right? To release the expectation, release the outcome. 
for the masculines, it's about releasing other things, all right, in their lives. Not always, okay, I'm just speaking generally here, and that's what I'm getting for this for this particular group. So this, this masculine, I feel, has tried to release you, but cannot. They're having a very hard time doing that. It's very, very difficult for them, and I feel like that's also creating anxiety for them. I feel like this Two of Pentacles is actually um, similar to that storm warning that, that the feminines have. So feeling a lot of anxiety because they're, it's like emotionally they just cannot release this connection. And this, this realization actually does come with healing. It does come with healing. So whatever this is that they are dealing with or whatever it is that caused them to want to try to release you, I feel like they're healing that. healing that because again right they're feeling this um like they're vigilant they're they're they want to know what's going on with you they feel like they want to protect you and so i feel like for the most part <clears throat> those of you that this resonates for you're not really um together at the moment because i know there are others who are in a relationship, even if it's not 100%, which is why they don't consider themselves to be in union because they're not fully um, in union. They're not fully together. But for this particular group, I feel like there's more distance. So let's see real quick for the feminines. Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, so it's like, you know, you stop chasing, but I feel like in your mind, you're, there's still a little bit of this, you know, what if. Still waiting to see some kind of a sign, possibly. Um, it almost feels like there's this back and forth in your mind. And the one thing that really like, I, I, I almost feel like you, you, you find yourself reminding yourself of the betrayal that you have felt in whatever shape or form that was. Okay. Cause it's different for everybody. It's not always cheating or, um, you know, being dishonest. Sometimes it's just, you know, the masculine just not following their heart, right? Or, or holding on to certain fears. Whatever that was for you, it's like, I feel like you're reminding yourself of that in order to help you to stick to, you know, your decision to stop um, chasing. Hmm. Emotionally. Okay, this chariot in reverse, the four of cups in reverse, and the seven of swords. And I'm sorry if you guys cannot see them very clearly down here. Let me move them up a little bit. Yeah, I know. It's not much better. <laughs> they just need to be moved over. All right, so for how the feminines are feeling, I feel like you're, you're feeling like there's not much, you don't have much control over what you're feeling. And that could definitely be part of your lesson as well. Um, this, this experience is actually helping you in some way, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. But you're feeling like your emotions are just all over the place, like you just don't even know how to get a handle on them because one moment, you know, you're feeling one way and then, you know, the next moment you're feeling a different way, having to remind yourself of certain negative things so that you can um, remind yourself of why you stopped chasing, basically. And so this can just really create a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, wanting to distract yourselves, um, 
focusing on other things. This isn't this isn't a bad thing. I feel like this is just and again, it's not going to be for everybody. But yeah, it can definitely feel a little bit overwhelming when you feel like you <clears throat> like your feelings really just have like a mind or life of their own. And there's this uncertainty of not knowing where it's heading, like, you know, am I always going to feel this way? So, yeah, definitely some some depression here um, for some of you and yeah and it could be that there's a little bit of just trying to get away from this even with the seven of swords I'm seeing it like that distractions card and and that's okay it's just a way of trying to deal with it because you can't deal with something that's so difficult and heavy all at once all right, so let's see. Do we want to clarify anything? I feel like we do. Um, let's clarify that top row for the masculines. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so, so the fact that they're not moving forward, the fact that there's not much communication or that the communication has decreased or whatever the case is for you, however, they're still wishing for you. They still want this. It's like there, there's this craving. That's weighing very, very heavy on them. And not only that, but they feel responsible for the way that things are now. They feel like it is completely on them for something that they did, for something that they said maybe for something that they didn't do, but they're definitely feeling responsible for the way that the situation between the two of you is right now. All right, let's see the second row for their headspace, which is the one with the moon in it, and the hanged man in reverse. We have the hermit. Okay, good, so there's, um, okay, obviously, yes, keeping to themselves, but again, like I said, they wanna come out of this stuckness that they are in and even though like I said you know there's a lot of doubts I love that we got the hermit clarifying this though because this is showing that at least there's a lot of soul searching there's a lot of trying to understand their own self so I do also feel like just with this whole like row the way it is um, I feel like they're actually not being very social at the moment, just not very active at all. I mean with the hanged man in reverse and the king of wands also in reverse just in general it feels and even the four of swords there's a lot of like passiveness overall in their life right now just not not doing much other than the necessities like whatever is like the bare minimum that they need to do like work for example all right so let's see this bottom one for their emotional space oh we have the wheel of fortune Okay, so this could be about to change. This could be about to shift because they're feeling very overwhelmed at the moment, almost like they cannot manage, right? And like I said, because there is healing, there is healing. So I feel like that is ultimately going to shift the energies here. They're having a hard time releasing you, but what the issue is, is that they're struggling when it comes to trying to release you because that's just not what is in their soul. That's not what they truly want. So whatever it is that is um, influencing them, whatever it is that gave them that drive or whatever in, to want to release you in the first place, that is what is healing and that wheel is turning. Because they can't. This is just not not what they are meant for, right? They, they're they feeling this caring connection with you. They have this wish. They're keeping an eye on you. They want, they're feeling this need to protect you in some way. And it could be because energetically they're picking up on your energy here. And especially for those of you where that distractions card could be talking about other potentials, or even if you're just thinking about it. So they could be picking up on that energetically. Some of them might even know about it if you're actually dating other people and so it's creating this need or this desire to to protect you um i don't feel like there's much to clarify for the feminine so yeah i'm actually just not going to um but let's see what is what is coming up here in the near future so 
Let's see for the math ones what is coming up. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which may or may not have been in reverse, doesn't really matter. The Ten of Wands in reverse and then the Six of Cups. Okay, so they're releasing something here. They're trying to release that weight off of their shoulders and I feel like they feel like they can do that only by getting themselves on track, coming up with a plan, coming up with a strategy, actually putting it into action and then moving towards some kind of a reconciliation. So, yeah, I feel like, I mean, it, it doesn't specifically show communication, but it's definitely releasing, this is part of it, they have to release that sense of responsibility because that can weigh so heavy on them that it actually debilitates them, like it actually keeps them from being able to move forward. And it's all about also forgiving themselves. It doesn't mean that they should excuse themselves or that they're justified if they have treated you unfairly or if they did something that was not right. I'm not saying that at all, but it, it looks like <clears throat> there is something that they feel is their is only their responsibility to carry, but that that's not exactly the case or that they need to release that because that's just keeping them stuck in the past and dwelling on the past rather than actually doing something to fix that or to change the trajectory. As long as they're holding on to those 10 wands, they're not allowing themselves to change the trajectory. So I see that shifting here, okay, because now the 10 of wands is showing up in reverse, not to mention we also just have the wheel of fortune, okay? So the way that they're feeling here um, is shifting, which is helping to put them on this path and moving towards that reconciliation. At the very least, thinking a lot about you, having a lot of nostalgia, even more so than, than before. So it's actually, <clears throat> it's actually very positive. Let's see for the feminines. Right, we have the, <laughs> the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse for you as well, um, <clears throat> and then the Two of Pentacles for you as well. Okay, very interesting, because the Masculines also have the Two of Pentacles upright, and then the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and I feel like it's the first time where it actually, usually we get that first the Feminine goes through some kind of an energy, and then the Masculine goes through that same energy after the Feminine. It's like it's the other way around here, because for the Masculines, these two cards are in their current energy, but for the feminine, it's <clears throat> coming up. So very, very interesting. However, it, it is slightly different, okay? It's not, <laughs> it's not the exact same thing, and I'm not saying in any way that you are a step behind the masculine or anything of that sort. Um, but what I do see here is that, yeah, you know, you, you are having a hard time um, releasing this connection, and that's not not necessarily a bad thing because I feel like sometimes the feminine feels this pressure that she needs to completely be over the masculine and that's just not the case, okay? You do not need to be 100% um, detached, you know, over them, not thinking about them like as if it never happened. That's just not possible. All right, so I feel like that is what this message is here. That's what, that's what can make it a lot more difficult for you to handle and to manage and that could be creating actually a lot of stress is to actually be trying too hard to release this that's actually just going to keep you more um i don't want to say more attached exactly but really that's kind of what i want to say um it just gonna it just keeps you more in this state of anxiety stress and feeling like you're stuck even if you're not yeah i think that's the best way to put it Feeling like you're stuck even if you're not. No need to try too hard. You don't need to try to distract yourself with other things um, so that you can just, you know, hurry up and get over, over your masculine. That's the message here. So 
yeah, I feel like this was more like guidance rather than what is coming up for you. And I feel like that, that's just what spirit wants me to say. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but yeah, I feel like for the most part, you're doing very well. You're very, you know, just growing when it comes to your own self-awareness and releasing self-defense mechanisms, which is a huge part of this journey. Um, so yeah, and the masculines are doing their part as well. Um, definitely feeling this need to protect you. <laughs> And they're releasing something that definitely needs to be released in order to move towards that Six of Cups. So let's get just a couple of Oracle cards to close this out. <clears throat> and I will try to get one more this weekend, possibly Sunday. All right, and we got two. We have Loyal Heart and we have TikTok. So yeah, you know, your heart is your heart. What you feel for each other, I feel like, first of all, it's, we already know it's mutual, all right? If this is a divine um, counterpart, that, that feeling is mutual, all right? Also, you know, you are loyal, no matter what it is that you might be doing, and if that's something else that's creating anxiety for you, or guilt, or I don't know, know that your heart is loyal, regardless. Okay, I'm not telling anybody what to do or not to do. All I'm seeing is that there's this loyalty between the two of you that only the two of you can fully understand, at least, you know, on a spiritual level or on a soul level. All right, and again, be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself and just, be, you know, overall, because everything really is just a matter of time here. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the holidays and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.